I never learned how to whistle. I don't know why. Maybe it's just one of those things I never picked up or didn't ask about. And I've never been able to. I regret that. I had a friend who could whistle. Most of my family could whistle, or at least I assume they could. Come to think of it, I don't know if I ever saw my father whistle. Not in person, at least. I think he told me he could once, but I never actually saw him do it. I just believed that he could. I suppose I could try learning now. I certainly have enough time. But the air's too thin up here. I doubt my lips would make the shape at this point. I'm not even sure if I remember what the shape would be. Sort of O, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't matter. I managed to fall asleep again last night. It's been a while since I was able to. I say night, but it never actually gets dark around here. Not properly. I just know that I should be asleep and I drift off without really thinking about it. Night without dark. Maybe that's how all sleep works, though. I should ask someone. Next time I see someone, I should ask him. He was here again while I was sleeping. I'm almost sure of it. He never says anything or touches me or interacts with me at all. Most of the time, I don't even see him, but I know he's there. Like do on the front lawn, I just know he's there. I can feel him. Even when I'm not asleep, he's still watching me from somewhere. Someday, I'll manage to catch a glimpse. Saw another traveler today. He didn't stay for long. I don't know where he was going. I don't think he knew where he was going either. Nobody ever seems to know where they're going. Not on this road. My hand started to itch again this morning. I still can't remember where it went or if it was ever there to begin with. I think it was. I can remember using it. Not for anything specific, just general memory that I used to use it for things. Picking up groceries, resetting clocks, buttoning up my coat. I don't recall specific movements of the fingers or the feeling of my palm against the surface, but I know that it was there. I think. It reminds me of a story a traveler once told me. He was the first to talk to me. He might have been the last. I can't remember. Hello. Hello. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm from the Bureau. I'm here for the census. Can I get your name, please? It's John. George? Uh, J James? I think. You think? Or you know? Well, I think. I know. Okay. Mr. John, George, James. Uh, can you tell me how many people you've seen walk down this path today? How many people? On the road? Yeah, yeah, just walking down this path today. It's for the census. Uh, one. One? Hmm. 
All right. Can you describe him? Uh, or her? He was tall, thin, well-dressed, and he carried a clipboard. Please, now, Mr. James, can you take this more seriously? I mean, this is official business from the Bureau. Sorry. So, am I to assume I'm the only uh, individual you've seen walking down this path today? Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've seen anybody other than you for days. For days? Come now, Mr. James. A young couple in fancy dress passed me not ten minutes ago. I mean, surely they came by this way unless they... Oh, dear. Unless they strayed. <sighs> that is irregular. So, once again, have you seen anyone else walk down this path today? I don't know why we bother anymore. Things getting worse all the time. People straying from the path. You wouldn't believe what I heard in the last town. Like what? Huh? What'd you see in the last town? Ah. Uh, may I sit down? Oh, thank you. Now, I didn't see this with my own eyes, mind you, but according to a Mrs. No, wait. A Ms. Brandon Rothschild, local landlord and barmaid. There was a struggle in her tavern the night before. Can I get for you this evening, sir? Whiskey, ale, a wine maybe? Well, how about a glass of water? A glass of water. Very good, sir. Coming right up. Lucky you, showing up when you did. Jab and I were just about to close. Slow night we've had, though. The last fella to come by was almost two hours ago. And all he wanted was a loaf of bread. You can't charge much for bread these days, but with all that flour coming from my museum. Then again, I suppose there was that one fella who stopped by to ask for directions. Can't hardly get much out of passing me by, though. Except for an ale. Or two.
and then he vanished into the night. Miss Rothschild claims she never saw him again. What do you think he wanted? Well, I would think that's obvious. He wanted a glass of water. Maybe. Well, I must be going. The census won't take itself, after all. No, it won't. The Bureau will be sending Saudi off through in the next month or two. Take care of yourself, Mr. James. I'll try. I finally met the couple in fancy dress the man had mentioned. I woke up one morning to see them on the other side of the road, just watching me. They were gone by later that morning. I shouldn't have fallen asleep again. He came last night, took my other hand. It feels just the same as last time. I could have swore I used my hand just yesterday. But I don't really remember. It's all right. It's done. The long wait, the intermission, the eternal challenge is over. Your struggle, your time in the sun, it's at an end. Take my hand. Let me guide you. Let me lead you away from this place. There is no threat in discovery.